The rugged distribution cable we offer is composed of a 3mm micro distribution style subunit within an overall riser rated PVC jacket. The jacket is UV treated to avoid deterioration under direct sunlight and contains components within it to deter rodents and insects from chewing on it. Since it isn't a direct burial cable, the ruggedized micro must be contained within a duct or conduit if being directly buried underground but is ideal for applications where you need to run fiber up the outside of a building or a utility pole to say a security camera or an outdoor wireless access point. According to National Electric Code in the United States and many other international electrical codes around the world, it's recommended that cables such as our ruggedized micro distribution be secured every 6 feet or 1.8 meters unless supported through some form of frame or stud, with the first support being within 12 inches or 30 centimeters of the termination box. The minimum bend radius of Clearline's ruggedized cables is one times the outside diameter of the jacket. So, if you're installing our 2, 6 or 12 strand ruggedized product with an outer diameter of 6.1 millimeters or 0.25 of an inch, then a minimum bend radius of equal or greater dimension must be adhered to. To prepare our ruggedized micro distribution cable for installation, You'll need a radial cable slitting tool, Kevlar cutting shears, tri-hole fibre strippers, and tape. Firstly, take the radial cable slitting tool and place the end of the ruggedized cable such that the blade can be seen against the end profile of the jacket. Turn the blade height adjustment screw until the slitting blade is at the height necessary to cut through the outer jacket, but not deep enough to damage the 3mm subunit beneath it. Taking the radial slitting tool, Place it over the ruggedized jacket at about 2 inches or 50 millimeters from the end of the cable. Apply a small amount of pressure onto the end of the slitting tool in order to make sure the blade penetrates the ruggedized jacket and rotate the tool a couple of times. Apply light movement back and forth on the jacket and it will release from the main cable. Slide the last section of the jacket from the cable to expose the orange rip cord. Place the slitting tool back on the rugged jacket about an inch or so from the exposed end and align the blade roughly in line with the orange ripcord. Rotate the blade to the longitudinal position and slide the tool towards the end until it releases from the jacket. Next, take the orange ripcord and pull it along the slit in the jacket. Now take the slitting tool to approximately 24 inches or 60 centimeters along the ruggedized jacket and perform a second radial cut. Once the radial cut is complete, apply light back and forth movement until the two sections separate. The rip cord can now be pulled down the length of the ruggedized jacket to be removed. Carefully peel back the outer ruggedized jacket from the water blocking yarns and 3mm subunit within it. Once removed, trim all the water blocking yarns and rip cord back to the end of the ruggedized jacket with Kevlar cutting shears. The section of fibre within the exposed 3mm subunit will not be used for the final termination. This section serves purely as an installation instrument. To assist with the smoother pulling of the cable, place a piece of electrical tape around the end of the ruggedized jacket. Taking the tri-hole strippers, use the largest hole to nip the 3mm jacket close to the ruggedized jacket and remove it to expose the aramid strengthening yarns and fiber strands beneath it. Remember, the fiber strands making up these last 24 inches or 60 centimeters of the cable will not be used for the installation, so they can be cut back and discarded appropriately. Now, twist the aramid yarns around each other to make a single cord. Taking the aramid yarns, feed them through the pull ring and tie them securely. As noted earlier, if you're using a multi-weave wire mesh grip, 
the optical fiber and any other component to the cable bundle being pulled should be placed into the mesh prior to tying off the aramid yarns. To do this, an extra length of the 3mm fiber jacket should be threaded all the way through the mesh grip in order to allow that length of aramid yarn to be tied to the eyelet. Once the aramid yarns are securely tied to the pull ring or eyelet of the mesh grip, attach it to the pull rod or drawstring. If you're using a pull rod system, it's essential that the attachment has a swivel adapter such that any twisting of the optical fiber is absorbed through the swivel motion. Thank <laughs> you.